It's a cloudy morning in the greenhouse and I want to show you some of the things about it. Um, it's pretty well sealed so that means there's uh, quite a bit of uh, condensation and the condensation runs down and onto the wood. So I'm going to fix that and I'm going to try and collect this condensation and figure out how much there is. Um, the temperature in the greenhouse now is 14 degrees centigrade and just for the Americans among you uh, I can well I can show this temperature here this is a soil temperature 8.4 and I can change to uh, it's 47 Fahrenheit so um, this one I don't think it can change easily but this is the temperature 14.1 of the air being blown down under the soil with the fans. Now the fans are barely moving at the moment because uh, the work on the from the solar panel. Uh, and I don't know what this is going to show, but here's one and here's the other. So they're from an, uh, from old computers, and they are going. I can tell they're going because I I put my hand over the the exit for the, the pipe and um, you can feel that they're going. So one is very similar to this one, 12 volts, 17 amps. And when it's going fast, um, you know, it's quite loud, but they're from recycled from old computers. And you can just feel the air here and here blowing out. So, so they're working at the moment, but not very efficiently. Um, I have, um, I've bought a kind of a, a G, um, um, it's, it's something to collect the water and I'm going to collect this water. Uh, when these things speed up later in the day, uh, when the sun shines a bit more, the, the moisture, uh, pretty much disappears here. And I think it's added to here. So I think this is caused by the air being blown up here once it gets really going. Uh, cold air coming out of this, um, blowing up, and um, then it condenses more on this side. Um, so this 8.4 here, we can look deeper in the soil, I have this thermometer here, which goes deeper. So um, down here is um, where the pipe is down in the ground. So this one, at this depth, if I look at it quickly, you might be able to see, it's about nine degrees. Um, yeah, maybe I guess it had over nine. So it's a little bit warmer deeper down in the soil. And this is uh, presumably because of the air uh, warming it up. You know, over the course of the day, this will run during the day. It runs really fast when the sun shines on it. And then um, when the, the sun gets to the tree here, it's up about halfway up the tree. I don't know if that's it. And, you know, this pretty much shuts down and um, it cools down pretty quickly in the greenhouse. But that's the whole point of, of this collection thing is that when the greenhouse gets warm, it, it can get too warm and um, by putting the uh, heat down from into the soil and there's a water compartment down here we're equalizing the temperature and also we have heat stored under this that will sl slowly be coming up at night so keeping the wild uh, the wide uh, temperature swings uh, from happening that you know will happen so on this this is a uh, hopefully this video will be good enough so you can take a, a screenshot of um of this so the aluminum soil pipe is this white one it comes along here under the soil and uh, exits here and it's about eight feet long so i don't know two and a half meters long this one is about the same it, this goes down deeper it goes down into water which is down below and um, 
this here is where I check the water temperature with this little guy. I drop him down um, in the hole and uh, give him a couple of minutes and pull him back up and then measure the temperature. Uh, <clears throat> so here anyway are some results from a few days ago when it was nice and, and uh, sunny. So the aluminum soil pipe, the entry temperature of the air, it was 22.9 C. When it exited the pipe, it was gone down to 16 centigrade. So that's uh, 6.9 uh, degrees of a drop. And the soil temperature was uh, 9.6. And um, 40, I, I, below I have the uh, Fahrenheit temperatures. The black plastic pipe in the water compartment, entry temperature was, I did these almost the same time, um, 22.7, exit temperature was 12.9, and um, the temperature drop was 7.8. And this is, um, is that right? Um, oh, sorry, 9.8. Um, um, the water temperature down below was um, 6.2 so that's part of the reason why the temperature dropped more is because of the um, the, the bigger temperature um, variation between the soil and the, the water so it cooled faster but there's another thing I'm measuring in this pipe and it's the amount of condensation because with around 10 degrees of a a temperature drop you'll probably get condensation which releases heat and um, I can actually measure hopefully the uh, amount of water that condenses down there and then I'll be able to put that into the figures as well uh, for anyone who um, wants to figure out my airspeed I, I haven't figured out how to do airspeed yet um, I'm going to use a it's called a, I call it a dandelion clock, but I'm going to put one in the, I'm going to do something like this at the exit, going straight up, and um, just going to see the, the little seed, the parachute from a dandelion, I'm going to drop it down into it, and then I'm going to start it up and see how quickly the dandelion parachute goes up through the pipe, and you'll be able to measure that with the camera, you know, um, on the computer you can do the frames so I'll be able to measure that fairly accurately and finally get uh, and that way I'll be able to figure out how many watts or kilowatts um, that we're putting down into the ground during the day but um, for anyone who wants you can check this here and uh, people might be able to tell me um, roughly how much um, air a fan like this would blow through because one of the fans up there is the same i got these these are i have an old i had an old computer it's from i think i got maybe 2006 and it was um, obsolete well years before but i kept running it to, um, for about eight nine years so these have been in my computer uh, in a computer for eight or nine years and they're still work very nicely off they're all 12 volt and some of them this one is brushless i don't know about this if it's brushless or not but um yeah it have worked for i guess nearly a decade because my computer was refurbished so i bought it second hand and one of them is up there and the other one is from another computer i don't know where i got it but um yeah, so there's all these uh, free things that you can use to uh, improve your greenhouse. At this side, I'm going to make a, a different setup. I'm storing water in this and in this, and the water is going to. I'm going to cycle the water up and keep everything uh, watered well. I'm going to do the same here too, but um, I'm not in any rush to do it because um, things aren't really that warm yet and. There's nothing, um, there is stuff growing here. There's um, some kale just starting to grow, but everything else is um, not quite there yet. And I've just seen ants here as well. They might be, they're gone now. So, so things are warming up. It's the um, time change day. 
Anyway, uh, that's it for the moment. Thank you very much. I uh, hope it wasn't too boring. And uh, maybe people can help me figure out the airflow. Uh, when these are when when this type of fan is running pretty much full blast, maybe you can give me a, a guideline on how much air is flowing through until uh, my dandelions come in to um, start seeding. Thank you.